Today's automobile manufacturers are continually working to keep the vehicle occupants safe in case of an accident. Unfortunately, this leads to problems for rescuers. It is hard to know all of these obstacles and which vehicles have them. In an effort to meet tougher safety standards, today's automobile manufacturers have started using stronger, exotic materials in vehicle construction. The auto industry's increased use of high-strength, low-alloy, and ultra-high-strength steel has presented serious obstacles to rescue personnel. Automakers are continually changing designs and strength of different steels, as well as where it is used on the vehicle. Ultra-high-strength steel has the properties similar to glass. It is extremely hard, but very brittle. The enormous amount of pressure it takes to sever this type of material is where other hydraulic cutters fail. Typically, the compressive force of the cutter will cause the boron to fracture rather than being cut. If enough compression force cannot be achieved, the cutter will stall and no amount of repositioning of the cutter will prove to be successful. These exotic metals in new car construction present a serious problem for most hydraulic cutters. Genesis Rescue Systems has recognized the urgent need for more powerful cutters. We have responded by producing some of the strongest cutters on the market and testing them on the most exotic material used by the automobile manufacturers. This testing is done in a lab and as you can see here on the vehicles rescuers will see in real life situations. Boron capable is a designation we give to a cutter that has successfully cut some of the toughest boron steel. At Genesis Rescue Systems we are continually testing our cutters and their ability to cut these exotic materials consistently, reliably, and in real life situations. In order to provide more rollover protection, in 2004 Subaru began using steel rods in the roof posts of some of their vehicles. Of these, the WRX STI has proven to be the most difficult to cut. The roof posts in the WRX are constructed with two solid steel bars running through the roof posts. With the help from State Farm Insurance Extrication Research Team, we recently obtained one of these B posts. Watch as our line of Genesis boron capable cutters cut the B post from the 2004 Subaru WRX and the side impact beam from the Volvo X60. Wayne, you think there's anything stronger than kind of like that section right there? Nope. Have you run into anything on any other Mercedes or anything else no, that, that you this, think? This is everything that I've seen and talked to State Farm even again today. So far, this is the strongest post that we've come across. So, if it'll cut this, we're in good, I mean, the tool's in good shape or the department, whatever. Volvo has been a leader in vehicle safety. Their vehicle construction utilizes more of these exotic metals than any other automobile manufacturer. Volvo provides the most information about these materials and their placement in their line of vehicles. Here we will cut the boron steel side impact beam from a Volvo S60. Although it has been suggested that a sawzall could be used as an optional way to cut this post, it will take about three to four minutes and some blade changes to get through one of these posts. Compare that to four to five seconds with a Genesis boron capable cutter. The truth is, there are cutters that can cut the toughest boron steels 
and Genesis Rescue Systems has plenty of them to choose from. Thank you for watching this video presentation from Genesis Rescue Systems.